Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is a quick reel of Burt for 2021's Power Tour, kind of getting it ready, showing where it came from in these first couple photo videos that are playing in the background there. And just kind of going through and putting in there what uh, I lost and recorded and I never put in part one or part two. So also got some footage later on of us cruising through the power tour stops and along the routes. Stick around. Hey, here's an update. Clean it up for the day. Um, yeah, we're tearing into it. <laughs> yeah, tearing into it. Go ahead, pop that one off. Okay. Go put yeah. Get out of there. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Cut off the wires down there. Oh, that's still connected. Out of your way. Got it. Gas, you stay on that side. Yep. Okay. Cool. Let's check out what we got going on on this side. Are your push rods there? <laughs> All the push rods are there. <laughs> so, where's the gasket? The gasket's in there. Here's what we, here's what I'm thinking. Yep, it's on there. This one's got the cork gasket on it. So they pulled this off. Cause it was clang and clang and clang, and I think they purposely took that one out of there. This is what I think they did. Because this one's got. We the haven't explained rod. what you're. There's a missing push rod on. Uh, cylinder two. So Christopher pulled that side off, and we're looking at, looking at, looking at it. Do 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 do. Ah! That one went a little sideways. What 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 what. what? Clang, 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 bounce, whatever. It's just in there. Dead cylinder. It's missing the push rod. The intake side. You looked in there? Nothing in there. Pull the plug. It's not burning anything on the plug. Whatever else. So it's dead cylinder. So, what did we just say? Well, it's not in there, so it must be just pulled out something. <laughs> bunch of there's not metal shavings in there and well, metal shavings is it that clinking around it could be but and also it's, just, it's hitting it right there it makes sense yeah but that the magnet on the bottom off some shavings at the, that spot so yeah the magnet on the bottom would definitely hit it but yeah that's a new one on me so um Guess we're gonna order up the push rod and see. This these rockers were now it's tight. They might need to be adjusted a little bit. That one's loose too. That one's tight. That one's tight. That one's, tight. That one's loose. Might have to just get a little snag. Guess Maybe we'll just fold. Chatter. They, they loosen up. I mean. So yeah, passenger side's missing number two, which that would explain that spark plug having the afro on it. That would explain... Clanking that you thought was from the drive shaft. Yeah, the motor's kind of shaking. It was a bad misfire, and I thought it was a carrier bearing off the drive shaft. Well, good thing you got it, at least. You can just replace it. Yeah. So we originally were tearing it down just to throw the Edelbrock on, and figured... Valve covers are ugly. Chevy orange looking like shit. So tear them apart and find it. I'm glad we did. Just never know what skeletons you're gonna reveal. But more to come. Straight, 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 straight. Yeah. What? That's supposed to be like that. All right, here we go. We got a week before we leave to go to power tour. It's been a lot of uh, a lot of work here on Bert. 
So Bert is dub now, AKA Bert, the Craigslist rebuild. Cause I'm Craigslist rebuilding a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah. So as you can see, I got the rocker. There we go, rocker in. I got some just blue paint. Doesn't match, put on there. Rattle can. Don't care, had primer in it. Got the new weather stripping in, the seal, the seats. It's it's in there, that side. I just finished painting that. Did it kind of backwards, but. Uh, back rear is painted as well. Both sides, front and back. Sorry for the fan noise. Uh, there's what I meant by the Craigslist rebuild. Ooh, yay, yummy. So fun, great. You gotta rebuild stuff when you can. I mean, I took the opportunity to do it. So, um, what do I gotta do today? I'm not trip over stuff. So today I got my lead headlights. These guys are in. Um, oh, that one's more bent up, but is the other one like that? Hmm, let, me, let me get So that's the uh, headlights. These housings came from, oh, well, they are normal. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe you have to fix on it. But anyway, these housings came from Amazon. I just Googled round headlights made in China. Um, they take a 9006 halogen bulb. So that's what they are right there. And zone. Seven inch lamp. Bought some of the LED lights to go in there to replace the halogens. Also bought new clips, putting those in. So that's the project for today, along with getting this fender put back on. You can see the driver's side door is hung. I'd close it, but I got wet paint. I still got to put on the passenger side door, put that on, get that hung. Um, I need to just bust that off, not worry about it. I need to fix what I sliced up out of there just to get in to repair that because it's too lazy to take the fender off, which that inner wheel well was junk as it was. So yeah, that's uh, that's 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 there. So get that and gotta put the hood back on and all the lights and then go from there. What the passenger side looks like. Sorry, all my junk's in the way. Back seat, as I mentioned, I just went with the uh, stock one. Doesn't look too bad, fits in there. Seat belts are mounted in the front. Oh, I gotta put the other parts of the seat belt in there. Oops. Um, yeah, and then I gotta tuck the, the carpet because it's got a gross line and figure out what I can do with that. So I gotta worry about headliner. I think that's gonna be Monday, so I need to do the finish the back here. Put the carpet on. Got it cut for that side. I just gotta glue it and tuck it underneath here. Back side turned out alright. So I'm gonna focus on that today. And then I got some mechanical stuff I need to do on the next day I get to work on this, which hopefully is tomorrow, but uh, and that'll be that rear main seal. I'm not looking forward to it. Because if I screw it up, all this work's going to be for nothing, and then we're going to take the Impala. Which, that needs a little bit of things done to it. But, I'm hoping that I don't, or I just leave it. thinking it might be something else, but the little O-ring on the oil filter. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not there. I'm worried about body panels and paint today and rebuilding with Craigslist stuff. So here's the passenger side. 
Of course, that blue does not match well. I just decided to paint that because it was black. And you can tell it's a little, it's a lot off. Oh, um, going in there, it's great, doesn't match. It's got color on it, down through, don't care at this point. Just something to keep it from turning back into Wi-Fi for right now. I'm not going to drive this thing in the winter, so it's not going to see any harsh, harsh conditions. It's just going to see rain, but that's about it. So I'll get back in here and take everything back out when I do a color change on it and fix all that stuff. Yeah, it'll be maybe next summer. I don't know. I just want this thing going so I can drive it. I don't care if it's a shit box right now because it's custom. Hi. Sorry, kind of a long video here, but here's some end results. As you can see, I got a bright LED in the front and in the back. Seats are installed. Um, let's see. I got carpet installed. Um, headliner is not really the best at the moment. So, I think <clears throat> that's going to be put on hold for Power Tour. It's coming up here really quick. Uh, let me show you what I got on the headlights. Boom. Headlightage is bright as can be. Got the LED lights in there. Nice and bright. I think those will do just fine. Hood is back on. Fender's on. I got the rocker, of course. Can't really see it in the dark here, but it's painted. Blue doesn't match for shit but you know what it works okay final push for power tour um go walk around this thing show you where we're at really quick so today <clears throat> i need to be getting that rear main seal done oil pan so i got a new gasket for the oil pan i got a new two-piece rear main seal that i'm gonna put on there got stuff for an oil change and go from there. Um, I just sprayed some rust converter on that fender and back here on the quarter panel just to try to lighten it up and get some stuff, I don't know, some rust taken care of. Not gonna help anything other than <clears throat> make it look a little bit better. Um, once it dries, I'll spray it down with some paint but go around the Suburban here really quick and kind of show you where we're at. So starting in the front, mentioned in that video yesterday, I got those LED headlights in, those turned out really well. Front end is all put back on, fenders put back on. I got that little bit of accident damage kind of somewhat taken care of. You see the marker light's still sticking out, it's bothering me, but fender's crinkled. I didn't put the orange one back on like I had. I just did time crunch, threw this thing back on. Um, I did have that bracket that was right there that went to the frame was bent. So I had to just, I just snipped it off. So that'll be, it kind of flops around on the bumper. Kind of got some movage to it while it's running, but at this point I'm just kind of ready to get it going. Get it going, running down the road. Uh, so fender's back on. I got new bushings put in all front doors, tops and lowers. I think I hooked my speaker wire back up. I still need to fix my window because it doesn't roll down past there for whatever reason. I think it just bottomed me out actually on the speaker. So take care of that. Um, that's the new rocker painted. It does not match for anything. Um, I did have <clears throat> the paint. I got two different kinds of paint. It's just rattle can. Some rust color, whatever. And I thought that that one was going to be the better match of the two. Because it kind of, you know... But, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking that this one is probably going to be the, the better one. So I just 
kind of buzzed a strip on there to try to let it dry and I'll hold it up and see what it looks like. I'm probably not going to do anything with it. Call it good. <clears throat> um, carpet's in. Seat belts are on. I just use the old ones for right now. I do, I'm going to put three points on. Seats are in. Put some more love on those ones. Got the LEDs hooked up and the, the door switch does work on them. Like I mentioned yesterday, the hood liner's not in there yet because, well, the fabric's not really doing what I want it to do. So I'm not going to rush it and get it done. New floor mats, center console, got some USB ports. Yeah, kind of back seats in. Carpet's in the way back. That's where I'm at right now. Um, here's the door closing. Got to slam it. Oh, I'll put new, uh, just the door seal weather strips in it. <laughs> Man, this thing is so much quieter going down the road. And I have all new weather strip for it. So kind of excited and debating on this week if I'm going to throw in like this one. Because it's kind of, you know, it's crusty. Um, I think this one's non-existent. I'll probably put them on the front door, at least mine, as if I get to this window. Hopefully I can. Um, still got to do something about the radio. If not, it's quiet enough now. I got a cool little Bluetooth speaker. I'll just honestly use that. So, um... Really, that's it. I'm going to dig into this rear main seal and See where we're at. So that right there is why Bert is getting what he's getting done today. Let's see, it parked in the driveway a little bit. And again, underneath, you can see in the garage where it's at, but it is all drippy, drippy all over the starter, all over that exhaust, and I just... I don't want to take this thing down the road and, you know, start on fire. I don't know. So, first thing I'm going to do is drain the oil and I'm going to remove the inspection cover while that is getting drained. Well, here's where I'm at. I got the inspection cover pulled off. Uh, oil filter adapter is dropped down. Oil is drained. I didn't find much in the oil. Just on the magnet had a little bit of metal chunks on it, which is normal. Um, what I did find is, if you can see underneath there, there's light in there. I don't foresee, and I know the rear main is leaking. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, yeah, it's leaking, but it's not as bad as this thing has been leaking. Uh, what I found out was I got the little ugh, gasket right there pulled out, and that seats in right around here and there's this other one up here this one's pretty paper thin it's like i don't know what the heck material it is fell pro or something and the allen wrench nuts that were in the bottom of that thing were pretty darn loose um since the majority of my oil leak as you can see is always on this exhaust over here my culprit, I think, is this. That's giving me my majority of the oil leak. So what I'm going to do is I cleaned up in there pretty well as best as I could. I pray, sprayed that down a couple times to break clean and wiped it down. Apparently it's got a little cavity up in there. Get the light in there. It's got a little cavity that fills up with oil that seeps around. But you can see that just a normal little cheap gasket and then the other fitting um yeah and 
I'm just going to clean that up the best I can and put it back together and not worry about it because the more I'm looking into dropping this oil pan, it's going to be more time into it that I really want to put into it at this point. So we'll uh, see where we get to. All right, here's where I'm at. I got that uh, RTV dump, some of the, that gasket, clean it all up. Found an exhaust leak, so I just quick welded that up, put some high temp paint on it. Uh, oil plugs back in, got it all kind of wiped down. A sweet, high dramatic. Oh yeah. Uh, found some spots under here that I wanted to get with uh, rust prevented paint. And got that. Oops, done. Oh. Now I got some heavy duty corrosion inhibitor stuff that I use on the Denali to keep it from rotting out underneath. Uh, basically this stuff is for, I don't know, marine trailers in salt water, resist salt spray and high humidity. So I'm going to put this on and put it all in the spots where I did my work. Yeah, flexible amber coating protects, prevents metal surfaces, electronic coatings, or connections, engine compartments, fasteners, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, what I'm saying is it's not gonna rust out my, my good work. So, got a couple cans of this left over from last year. I'm gonna just do up the, the important spots where I got now, see how much I got left over and kind of buzz over it. But yeah, that's what I use when I do my thing. Almost forgot, I got a Mobile One oil filter I'm putting on too. Uh, it was a little bit more, but I got it from Walmart and they didn't have the cheap Walmart brand filters for this truck. So I converted it over because I didn't want to get a Fram. So this is what it was. That's the part number, MI1-302A. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, See how she does. I had a Bosch in there last time and it was all right. Got that guy from Rock Auto was on clearance, so figure why not. So I'm gonna get this in and uh, go from there. Oh, just don't forget to uh, put a little bit of lube on that to keep it from leaking. Another thing to do really quick is top the oil filter off with a little bit of oil. Of course, I run the diesel oil stuff in it, um, mobile. It is just the cheapest from Walmart, so that's what I use and works for me. So yeah, I just I fill it up. I don't fill it all the way to the brim. I just get about half in there. That way when you start it up, it prevents a cold start from ruining stuff. But yeah, let me get this thing in there now. So here's where I'm at. I got that inspection cover button back up, oil filters on. Gotta fill it with oil and test it out, see how it leaks. If it leaks, it's Chevy, it's gonna leak. Hey, uh, since it was jacked up, repacked the front wheel bearings. Glad I did, this one was a little loose. Put new cotter keys on both sides, repacked the piss out of them, uh, both sides, snugged them up. Uh, went through CRC, the bottom of the cabbage cabbage here you go here oh yeah that's all nice and so that's all done smells awesome in the garage what else did i do oh yeah if you guys haven't followed me follow me maybe if you want i put my stickers uh, yeah i threw my my tubes use stickers on there some cool but I don't want to stick out too much so they kind of blend in. Because I don't like putting stickers on cars. It's just kind of gaudy. But anyways, um, that is where I'm at. I pretty much have to just fill it up with oil and get her down. Um, knocked off majority of my list that I had going on here. So, yeah. Maybe I'll wrap it up here, make a short video. If I do, thanks for watching.
I got updates. So I've been dealing with that oil leak and the oil filter lines that go to the front to the little cooler failed. Flat as a pancake. Dry as hell too. And in addition, here's the other one that was really giving me fits. Leaking. So, no one has a gasket. Improvised. Used my oil filter, the old one, gasket. Jammed it in that one spot where that one ring went. It's in there. We'll see if it leaks. And I RTV'd the hell out of the other one. Someone already did that. I did it again without the gasket. Made sure everything was cleaned. So I'm hoping that it does not leak. Because if it does, I'm kind of poo-pooed for the moment. Um, other things I've been working on while well, that RTV has been setting up and drying. Been working on interior pieces. Um, I got hood visors, rear view mirror in there. Um, I'm not going to go through and put all these other trim pieces on. I started to, I broke one, a pillar side for right there. And it just doesn't make sense for me to do that, to put it all back together, just to take it all apart when I got to do repairs to the roof whenever I do that. So these are just going to go on the shelf for right now. And I'm just going to rock it as is. Because A, it's going to be crunch time, and B, if I can't get done what I need to get done for the oil leak, then the Impala is going to get pulled in here, and I got to do some work to that. So that's where I'm at. Updates are good. Am I going right here? Yep. Brakes. I'm using Bert's brake. I'm trying, man. I get there.
good question. Fifteen one.
Jeff. Merrill still got it.
thanks everyone for watching these were kind of the highlights from the videos that i took from hot rod power tour and looking forward to 2022 um might take bert maybe maybe not maybe we'll take angus default is going to be the impala so thanks again for watching like subscribe and we'll see you next time